Right, we're looking at the mechanism of the 2022 paper 2 exam paper. Um, right, it says over here, I've got a circle with a diameter of 60. It's a radius of 30 millimeters. Let me draw that in quickly. Okay, there's my circle. Um, it says that I have a line coming out over here from O going to A at 60 degrees. I can draw that in straight away. Right, it then says that I need to measure down 50 millimeters. Let me do that. Just going to draw a construction line coming in here, going all the way down and going like that. And I need to measure off 50 millimeters from that center. There's my 50 millimeters coming down over here. 50 millimeters going over there. And I draw a construction line coming across over there. Right, um, it says over here that I've got a rod DB, which is 165 millimeters. That rod is 165 millimeters, very important. Um, I've got point A, I need to take 25 millimeters away from my rod of 165. 165 minus 25 is equal to 140. I can now take my pair of compasses, set them to 140. Out. Right, 140. Go to my position A over there. There's position A. And I'm going to mark off from that point down onto my line over there. And I will then have position B. Right, from there, I can now draw in a line going back over here. Just going to draw a construction line going back over here. And I can then measure off that 25 millimeters up there. 25 millimeters to get my position D. There's 25 millimeters, label that D, and draw in that line. Right, once I've got that in place, uh, please note that that line over there is not set at, six, at that 30 degrees, um, so you need to figure out where that point is. Okay, next thing. Um, I need to figure out is where C is. That, it says, is 70 millimeters going back over there. 70 millimeters, measure that off quickly. 70 millimeters, and that is point C. Draw a line going up over there. Just draw a construction line going up over there, and measure off 35 millimeters and 75 millimeters. 35 millimeters gets you F. That's point F over there. And point E is 75 millimeters going up. There is 75 millimeters going up over there. And I have point E. Right, I can now draw in all of these lines over here. Okay, right, there is point F, point E. B, C, D, and A. Right, okay, it says over here um, that you've got a crank OA and it rotates. Um, point B of a sliding rod DB reciprocates along a groove GH. Okay, we need to label that G and H. Okay, and we know that it's basically going to reciprocate along this line over here. Right, uh, which means that this is going to be moving back and forth. Um, this over here is going to be moving up and down through a fixed point over here of F. It says it's a swivel guide um, and A is connected over there. Um, so as this thing rotates, we're going to be able to figure out these um, points and how they move. Right, let's go. I'm just going to draw in some construction lines coming out to break the circle up into its 12 equal parts. Let's do that as fast as I can. There we go. Break that up into the 12 parts. There we go. And that. Break that around. Draw in that over there. Okay, and I can now label this. There is one, A1. Let's call that A2 over there, A3. 
3 over there. A, 4, A, 5, A, 6, A, 7, A, 8, A, 9, A, 10, A, 11, A, 12. Right, very important. You've got all those numbers. And we're going to see what happens as this thing moves. Okay, it says over here, well, A1 is going to move to point A2. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to figure out this distance over here. A1. You can see that that is linked to B. Let's call that B1 over there. B1. And A1 is going to move to A2. This is a, label, a labeling exercise. There we go. There is... A, um, B2, sorry, B2 over there. Then I'm going to go to A3, and I'm going to label this little point over here, B3. I then go to B A4, and I label this point over here, B4. Go to a5, label this point over here, B5, okay, um, go over here to A6, and I now have B6, A7, Give you B seven, go to A eight, there is B eight, go to A nine, there is B nine, A ten, that is B. Ten, eleven, B, eleven, A, twelve. There is B, twelve. Right. Okay. Once I've got all of those in place, I can then draw some construction lines coming out from all of these. Let's start with. B, well, we've got B1 going through A1. I need to go from B2 over here through A2 over there. Line that up nicely. B2 going through A2. Draw a line going out there. Right, once I've got that in place, I'm going to just measure off this distance, this 25 millimeter distance. Let's just do that quickly. From there to D over there. And I can go to A2, and I can mark off D2. That would be D1 over there. There's D2. Right. Go to B3. Where is B3? There is my B3 over there. The bottom, B3. Line going out from there to there. And measure off that distance again. And label it D3. All right, um, what we can do is to try and also do this part as well. Um, so you could do all of those lines uh, and then try and figure out what's going on. I'm going to suggest that we maybe do this little part as well. No, actually, let's do, let's finish D first. Okay, let's carry on going for, going through B4 and A4. There's B4 down there, A4 over there. Draw a line coming out, measure off the 25 millimeters, that's D4. Okay, go to a B5, sorry, B5 is over here. B5. Taking a line, I'm just going to draw a line going from there, coming out, and measure off. 
five millimeters again. Let's label that D5. Okay, uh, D6. There's D6. D6 is over here. B6 at least. B6 going through. B6 over there. Going through A6 over there. Going on another line. Coming out over there. Um, take that off. D6. Right. D7. I mean B7. B7 going through A7. Right, accurately as you can. Right, there we go. It's A7. And that will be D7 to 9. Uh, sorry, um, we've got 8. No, we've got 7. We need to go to 8 now. There's B8 over here. Going to A8 down at the bottom there. Let's use that color. Right. Measure off by 25 of A8. That will give me D8. Right, let's go to 9. D9. D9. This color. Right, get my 25 millimeters going there. That will be. D9. Okay. Go. 10. 10. 10 over here. Ten. Going up there. And measure off. D. 10, right, 11, let's find another color over here, it just makes it easier to see what you're doing. 11, going up there, there's D11, D11, 12, This one over here, going to 12, 12 over there, and going up there, and I have got D12 over there. All right. D12. Right. I've got D1 going to D2, going to D3, going to D4, going to D5, D6, uh, D7 over here, going to D8 over there, going to D9 over there, going to D10 over there, going to D11 over there, going to D12 over there, going back up to D1. Right, I can then draw that line in. Normally try and take this page off my board to do this. I'll get a much smoother arc going through all of these points over here. Line up and you'll get a really beautiful curve going around. Obviously you can use your French curves and all that. Right, there's that part done. The next thing is to get this going up and down. So let's go to, uh, there's B1. So this would be C1 over here, F1 over there, and E1. Now, what are they wanting? They tell you that they need the um, position of E. Okay, so we need to figure out where that's going. Um, let's find B2. There is B2 um, going off to uh, A2 over there. So that's this line going up over here. I need to measure off the distance for point C. Let's do that quickly. Um, measure off this 
distance B1. Okay, let's go. There's B2, and that would be where C2 would be. C2 would be there. I then go to where B3 is. B3 is going off to uh, A3 over there. So there would be C3. Okay, let's go to B4. B4 going off along this line over here. There would be C4 over there. Let's go and find B5. B5 is that one over there. And that is going off to, where's five? Five is this one over here. There we go. There is C5. Okay, and we need to go to six. Where is B6? B6 is this one. Which is over here. B6. Let's see. Six over there. Go to seven B seven. It's going off to there. That will be there. C seven. Then we go to B eight, which is over here. There is C eight. Go to nine. There, nine is going over there. There is C nine. Go to ten. That is over there. That is that one. C ten. And we go to eleven, which is this one over here. That would be C eleven. Go to C B12, which is that one over there. That will give me C12. Right, so there we go. C1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And I can now draw these lines going through point F. Okay, so we go to C1 and we're going to draw a line going out. Hold there, through point F, and I need to measure off this distance over here from C1 to E1. There it is. Go to C2 and mark that off. Label that E2. Right, let's go to C3. C3, draw a line from C3 through F1, and that off. E3. Remembering that that distance over there is that. Okay, C4. Let's draw a line going through F from C4 going through F. Measure off that distance on that line from C4. And we have got E4. Right. Next one is five. Let's choose a different color over here. Just makes it easier to see what we're doing. Five. Draw a line coming out over there. Measure off from C5. There it is. And I have got E5. Right, let's go to C6. C6 going through F, up over here, and go there and move that off. And I have E6. Right, um, seven. Choose that. to seven. That would be E seven over there. Right. Go to eight. Eight. Draw a line. Take measurements. Oops. And we 
we've got the eight. Okay, nine. Let's take this. Nine. Nine. And we've got the nine. Right, then we go to ten. Last one, let's see, 12 over here. this little thing going around like that, going through all of these points. Dotty de 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 dot. It's it's quite complicated down at the bottom because there are so many points. And this one going around like that. There we go. There is whoops. My arc oh chiefers. I'm really making a mess here. Let's try this again. some French curves on this just for the sake of going quickly I'm going to go over here and go around something like that there we go that's basically the drawing done there and we can then get on with the next drawing